Good morning students. My name is Dr. D. Raghuramulu, working as a lecturer in botany, Government College for Men, Karnal. Today, we will discuss about uh, endemism. Endemism is the concept first proposed by A.P. D. Kandole. The definition of uh, endemism is any species found naturally in only one geographic area is known as endemic species. What is the definition of endemic species? Any species found naturally in only one geographic area is known as endemic species. Endemism is a phenomenon where any plant or family is found in that particular geographic area and not elsewhere in the world is called endemism. So the causes for endemism are barrier factor, climatic factors, biological factors. Here's the barrier factor means any geographical area may be divided with tall mountains or huge water bodies. The plants which are growing in that area, they are not exposed to cross-pollination which facilitate for species origin. So this is the barrier factor. Climatic factor. Here climate play crucial role in the growth and development of the plant species. Light factor, soil, temperature, humidity, topography, all these plays a crucial role in the growth and development and distribution of the plant species. And biological factors, plants influence the growth of other plants and animals also influence the growth of plants. They promote the distribution of the plant species either with pollination or seed dispersal. So these are the causes of endemism. What are they? Barrier effect, barrier factor, climatic factors and biological factors. Here we have to discuss one word that is sensitive spot. Sensitive spot or hot spot means the place where 70% of the land is degraded by the human activities or 15, uh, one, uh, 1500 uh, genera are uh, endemic to that area. That place is known as sensitive spot or hot spot. These, the total land of hotspots in the world include only 1.4%. Though the land area occupied by the hotspots is very less, that is 1.4%, they harbor 44% of the vascular plant species. So we must protect the hotspots which harbor 44% of vascular plants. But unfortunately, this 1.4% of the land also harbor so many uh, the millions of people. So the sentence is endemism hotspots contain more species and many people. More species and many people. So the demand for the natural resources. We are destroying the natural habitats. Indirectly, we are removing so many plant and animal species in the wild so that we must protect this 1.4 land area which is considered as a hot spot or sensitive spot. Endemic families. Here, certain families are particularly endemic to particular climate, uh, phytogeographical regions. Cercidifilaceae is found in only in China. Devidiaceae is only found in Asia. Arachiaceae, Bruniaceae found in only South Africa. These families are called endemic families. Like that, certain genera shows particular distribution to particular area. Africa is having 30% of the endemic genera and Sri Lanka, our neighboring country, very small country, uh, which is having enormous number of uh, plants that is 29 species uh, percent of uh, species genera are endemic and australia is highest uh, endemic genera that they are 40 percent these are the endemic genera in few continents and countries now what can we know about studying endemism so endemism 
helps in the study of biogeography. By studying endemic species or endemic area, we can assess the biogeography of that particular area. Centers for speciation. Certain species originated in particular area. Example, rice is also originated in India and potato is originated in the South America like that. So, by studying endemism, we can assess or we can expect speciation means species origin. And areas of extinction. Extinction means completely removal of the plant or animal kingdom, animals from the earth is called extinction. And so far, so many thousands and lakhs of plants and animals are extinct, extincted from the earth. So, by studying endemism, we can assess the areas of extinction. Extent of variations. Variations are caused by the climatic change. So, the climate is ever changing according to the changing climatic conditions. Plant and animal species also shows variations and they have to adapt to the changing climatic conditions. By studying endemism, we can assess the extent of variations in uh, plants. Adaptive evolution of species. For uh, coping cope up the uh, changing climatic conditions, the plant uh, must have uh, adaptive characters to, for changing climatic conditions. So, here uh, endemism also helps for this. Categories of endemism. Now, what are the categories of endemism? Here, there are three types, three categories of endemism, neo-endemism, paleo-endemism, holo-endemism. Here, neo-endemism, neo means new, neo-endemism means here, uh, due to the uh, changing in soil or climate or mutations or chromosomal changes, polyploidy, these, cha these causes changes in the uh, existing species and these new, sp these new species, they are uh, present in that particular area and these new species, they differ from mother plant. So, these are con uh, considered as neo, neo endemics. So, here uh, changes in the soil and changes in the pH of the soil or changes in the nutrient deficiency or so or heavy metal content or climatic conditions increasing or decreasing uh, sunlight intensity or humidity or temperature. These also ca ch caused changes in the genetic constitution of plant species which will be heredity for the next generation. And mutations also causes changes in the plant species, chromosomal aberrations, addition of chromosomes or deletion of chromosomes like that. And polyploidy, these four causes uh, the changes, uh, causes the uh, morphological or genetical changes in the existing uh, species and a new uh, species origin, origin by these type of uh, changes. Next one is paleoendemism. Paleo means uh, old. Here, the plant species which are existing from the million of years, they are considered as a paleoendemism. We can give example the ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is called as is considered as a living fossil since it is living from millions of years, and the relatives of the this plant are extincted uh, some million years back uh, below. So that uh, this is a paleoendemism. Paleoendemism means the plant species which are existing from millions of years. So here, oh, these uh, uh, these are the causes uh, by uh, to assess the paleoendemics absence of uh, related species. So the paleo the any plant species which is considered as paleoendemic, it, it do not have any um, relative species in that local area and taxonomically these are isolated isolated land moss so where these plants are growing these are isolated either by the tall mountains or huge land water bodies so certain plant species the relatives of the particular plant species is found in the form of fossils so these are the different evidences to or these are the causes to consider any plant as paleoendemic Holo endemism. Here, holo means a whole. Any plant from the origin to the extinction, the study of the uh, from origin to the extinction, that is called holo endemism. From origin to extinction, these uh, are the categories of uh, endemism. 
and classification of endemism endemism can be classified into five categories one is paleoendemism just now we discussed it the plant species which are growing from millions of years till now these are called paleoendemism now cyzoendemism 